What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Today, it is Monday. It is approximate, or it's Tuesday, actually. You dumbass. It's, uh... You dumb fuck. 51 a.m. A little behind schedule today. (laughs) Yeah, I'm late. One of us was, uh... An hour late? No, it was like it was forty. It was forty minutes. It was forty minutes late, dude, dude. But um, (laughs) first off, it's one of my toxic traits. It's one of my toxic traits. I I'm upfront about that. It's one of my most toxic traits. I don't. It's also one of your toxic traits. traits. Exactly. It wasn't today though. Actually, (laughs) I was. I actually was late. My yeah, you were too, and you were late yesterday. Not as late as you. And you postponed it a day. (laughs) Yeah, I did. I did do both of those things. Yeah, I knew I was going to be late. I should have alerted you. But we were doing the planning at like uh, the the stroke of midnight. Yeah. And I do mean stroke. I know. I believe you. were fucking. I believe you. You were fucking, brother. Um, So, Sass, break it down. What's good? Bro, you break it down. All right. What do you want? No, you break it down. Break it down. I feel like we both have big things to talk about. You spent your weekend up in Buffalo carousing with NFL players and world famous comedians. Carousing with... uh, NBA players. players. Yeah. NBA players. Yeah. And close friends. And, and close friends. And Tyler. And Tyler. Oh, yeah. You lied to me. You told me you were in Philly. <laughs> when? When you called me. When? Uh, Saturday morning. When we were in the car with Mike. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I'm in Philly when we were on the way to Pat's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I lie so much to you, I don't know which way is up. The Phillies game. <laughs> yeah. And you were in Philly. Little did I know you were in L.A. That was probably Mike lying to you. I was definitely you. No, he was probably the na- main one lying to you. Actually, no, he called you because you were being... a whole lot of fibs, and I just didn't... I, I don't know who to trust anymore. No, you were... It does suck not being able to trust one of your good friends. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's another one of my toxic traits. <laughs> That's definitely a toxic trait. But your toxic trait was that you haven't been answering any of Mike's texts or calls. Mike never called me. He texted me one time at one in the morning, and then you called me at 8 a.m. And, and we're like, why the fuck aren't you answering Mike? <laughs> no, dude. That's another one of your toxic traits, and you could admit that. If I could admit fibbing a little I bit. never don't reply to you. Ever. Is that true, Owen? That can't be true. And if it is, I'm offended. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> certainly don't respond to me. I was, uh, how double text, triple text, double text, double text. Dude, I, you, you never do respond to me. Double that's, text, double that's text. That's not true. It's a sea of blue, dude. I'm swimming in a sea of blue over here. It's bad news. You're bad news, bro. You're no, it, bad news bear. <laughs> I'm gonna kick the fuck out of your teeth, <laughs> um, dude. I was in uh, I was in L.A. with Pat Bev, dude, and it it was sweet. And I also want to get ahead of something. Nothing's gonna suffer between me and you. Dude. <laughs> nothing's gonna nothing's gonna happen, like dude. Pat Bev's the man. He's not gonna get. He's not gonna come between us, dude. I'll tell you this, dude. You start just doing something of a boy dad with him. Let me know. He's shredded, dude. That's one thing I like more about him than yeah, you. Yeah, it sounds surprising. <laughs> he's shredded, and I'm gaining weight rapidly. I went to give him a dap, and then, like, you do the thing where you, like, smack the side, and I felt like I was touching a jungle gym, dude. He was just completely I ripped. I don't think I've ever done that one. Like, when you it's, give it's them just a dap, all... and then you feel their abs? No, like, the side. Do you want to try it? <laughs> no. Damn, and then you go, like, N- no, I've never right done there. that. I've never done that once. And how my hand sunk into your side like I was pressing my fist <laughs> into cookie dough. <laughs> His was like I was never fucking smacking. <laughs> yeah, it was, dude. It was a Serta. Your sleep number is a million. It yeah. was it was soft as fuck. No, he, he's just, he's shredded, dude. He's an NBA player. He lives in a fucking rich ass house, dude. He lives in the same neighborhood as the real housewives of Beverly Hills and shit like that, dude. Shit. He's just fucking paid, dude. Tyler's been over his house more than I have. I know. Dude. Tyler and him are like good friends now. Yeah. Sleep over. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler dunked. He had an eleven foot net, dude. Tyler raised up on it and dunked on it. Really? Tyler's a hooper, hooper. He dunked on an eleven foot hoop. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah, dude, might have been twelve. <laughs> why? Why does he have an eleven foot hoop? What's he raises it to that because he says he wants to get like for late in the games. He he practices his layups in his backyard. He wants to get his like legs ready. He wants to have his legs fresh for when he gets super tired. He wants Smart. to fucking be able to burst that shit out, dude. But it was uh, they built a set like on his on his property right there in his yeah. backyard. He's got a it's just a it's, it's a lovely house dude it makes me want to be rich like pat beverly one day dude i don't think i will yeah, probably not i don't think it's gonna happen for me <laughs> he's made 84 million dollars yeah, that's pretty tough to make and then whatever fucking 
however many 10 million more barstools paying him, dude. However much, yeah. how much do you think they're paying him? Dude? A lot of money. They got to be paying him so fucking much money, dude. Out so many bag emojis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's probably rolling in cash. Couldn't I mean, turn this down. I mean, making more from Barstool than than the NBA. He probably he is. Might be paying him more. And I think he's making 12 this year, 14. He's like making 14 Crazy. from the NBA this year. And he's excited about the Barstool money. So Harry, he, he's like too excited. He's, he's excited to the point that you know it has to be at least 10 million. Yeah, which makes me wonder what Owen's getting paid, dude, <laughs> if Owen's ass is One of him are going to be bumping shoulders out in LA. I know. Are you moving into his neighborhood? Uh, I'm going to have to go to LA for like a week, a month. Um, are you going to have a house out there? Or are you going to stay in a... Uh... Yeah, nice. He's going to... We're going to... We're working on something for him. Really? Sass is going to put me yeah. up, I think. <laughs> A bungalow? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to get a bungalow. Sass yeah. is investing in my future. Yeah, we're getting him a nice little place out in the hills. Something cute. <laughs> 4,000 square feet, probably. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just... Minimalist. A... Yeah. Elegant. And you can't be out in LA without a nice car either, so... <laughs> What are we thinking? Beamer, Benz, or Bentley, brother? All three. Not all three. <laughs> <laughs> the horseman? You got to help him find a nice spot. Where are you going to be at in L.A.? What, what part of L.A.? I have no clue, to be honest. I'm trying it's so to, big. I know. I'm trying to stay in New York as much as possible. When I'm in L.A., though, I'm hoping to run into you and Wallace and Tyler and maybe that NBA guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you will. Wallace move out? Or I think he said he's, he's trying to move soon. Yeah, he's got to move, uh, or I don't know. I think they said he only has like two flights back and forth. So they're like, you got to get out there. <laughs> they got him on a flight count, dude. <laughs> I think they hired him with like two minutes to go. Like, yeah, yeah. Bring everything in one checked bag. <laughs> yeah. Everything that you need. Put it all in one bag and make it light. <laughs> make it light as fuck. I don't even know. How, how do you even go about moving? Like I've never moved. I've never had like a big cross the country move like that. When I did it, I just got an Airbnb like uh, for however long. And yeah. I think that's a, a decent move moves to get an airbnb until you kind of get your feet underneath yeah. you like get a month at an airbnb it's like probably the same as just paying rent yeah but the airbnbs out there are gross yeah. they're just trying to get they're preying on dumbass people who think they're going to be famous like it's 1995 dude you're not going to la to get famous that's just not how that shit's going to work what do you got going on what you got a big fish on the line no, i keep on hearing a phone buzz and i think it's your phone. no dude mine hasn't I haven't gotten a single buzz. You're in buzzes, dude. No, no, I'm not. I'm not crazy. No, I'm not fucking buzzing, dude. I got a buzz off this caffeine. Hell yeah. I'm fucking zooming <laughs> off the <of> caffeine. <laughs> Why did you uh, walk in today with no backpack? You got other plans? What am I going to do with the backpack? You always have a backpack. No, I, no, I don't. You got your big ass backpack and your big ass headphones. That's not true. That is. <laughs> is that really what you think on. of me? Yeah. And you got shorts on and it's like 50 degrees out. No, dude, I fucking went to a workout this morning. I fucking oh, biked. I, I know. I was surprised you were late because you were tweeting at like six in the morning. Yeah, I went to a workout. Then I biked back from the workout. Then I biked into the office. Dude, ah. I feel fucking energetic, God, dude. Damn. I fucking, I feel fucking shit. Like, as you should. Nice. Get like me. <laughs> Spill your coffee, dude. It's going to be coffee stains everywhere. It's a fucking blessing because I've had too much caffeine already. That shit is too strong. I had a panic attack from drinking one of those when I was in college. I remember, <laughs> I remember it was that exact kind. Single the, cold brew? Actually, a little triggering to see it. No, it's not that even the cold, concentrate. Yeah. It's one just time I accidentally got the concentrate. That shit will fuck you up. You're it's supposed to be oh, yeah. water. Yeah, it's too strong. Liquid Adderall. It, yeah. It's it, it's just like we, no Liquid one needs that much caffeine. <laughs> How much <laughs> caffeine is in that? A fucking shit ton, yeah, dude. I'm zooming. Coffee caffeine is stronger than every other caffeine. Can you in talk my opinion? on that? Because I believe it. <laughs> in my opinion. Is that facts? Like how much is in this? Let's see. Take a peek, brother. Well, I clean this up because okay. this is despicable. It's damn healthy, I'll tell you that. I feel like the 60 milligrams in coffee feels like the, the 60 milligrams in yeah. energy drinks. No, 60 milligrams in coffee feels like like when you get like a, a rain <laughs> or like a th or like a, a bang energy and it's like 600 milligrams of caffeine. Dude, I'm in hell right now. Why? I just put my, <laughs> I just made an absolute mess for myself. I, I can't find my headphones. All right. Bro. Say say everything you said about caffeine again. No, Did we Mook don't. We just can walk in front of the camera, by the way. Yeah, Mook walked in front of the camera, dude. dude. Was an amateur, amateur move, move. bitch, dude. Amateur he's got some move. fucking set of nerve. Even though he's probably just going to help me clean up yes. my absolute <laughs> fucking what he's doing toddler mess that, that I just made. That big ass wallet that Mook's got. 
God damn. That's a thick wallet. <laughs> I respect it, though, dude. You know what? You got a thicky th- right there. And I think mine is pretty thick wherever the fuck I threw it. Sneaky a wallet watching pod. We checked Big Cats and Gillis's when they came on. About how fat their wallets were? Yeah. Dude, because I've been reading got in hella cash. <laughs> I-, <laughs> I got a lot of cash Flash it. right now. Dude, you know what you could do, though? You could just get a Ridge wallet. Look at all those fitties. On God? Yeah, just skip to add four. That's an easy one. Damn, we could just get a Ridge wallet because I've been hearing about these uh, skinny you wallets. Ridge wallet ads now? Mm-hmm. I always see those ads on my Instagram. They look cool. I've been hearing about skinny wallets for my entire life, and for whatever reason, I'm still in the fat wallet gang. Like, it's 1995, and uh, I need to get a Ridge wallet. It holds up to 12 cards, plus there's room for that big, fat stack of cash that SAS has, and there's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It's made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpockers. SAS, take it from there. Actually pretty cool. Um, it secures anywhere from two to six keys. Damn. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and fold out for easy access. There are six colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Which I said that. Yeah, you didn't. Yes, I did. That was the first thing I said. Oh, well, check out their site, rage.com, and use promo code DAD. For 10% off your order. That's a pretty good promo code. I'm surprised that one wasn't taken already. <laughs> but I am uh, I, I am excited. I am excited that the Ridge Wallet team is taking trust in us and are there. We're welcome aboard, guys. Can't wait to do work with you guys in the future. <laughs> All right, let's start the show. We'll start, we'll start from the scratch. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> That's not restart. <laughs> no, I'm just that kidding. Was usable? No, we're gonna have to cut all that. <laughs> no, that shit was good, dude. I like a little bit of chaos early in the morning. That's what this show needs. I know it's early. I, I was happy about like, coming in here at nine. I feel like I was like a functioning member of society. So did I. Yeah, good. I was in line with all the construction workers at the bodega, <laughs> and we were all fired up because the line was long. <laughs> We fired up. We pissed off. We were all pissed off. I wasn't pissed off. I was more just happy to be there. But, uh, <laughs> but a lot of the dudes were pissed off. One dude came in. He was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And the guy goes, "Single file line." <laughs> Another guy. And they were all friends though. Did you agree with them? Or are you like, uh, yeah, this was, fucking place, dude? Uh, I was I was second in line. These fucking tourists. Should have let them all go in front of me though. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Yeah, I should have. I mean, they are. Uh, Salt of the earth, you know? You should have compared hand hand I toughness. Know. You should have compared calluses. I have none. I used to be a calloused man, not anymore. Um, now you're calloused on the inside. I you, am. You got a calloused brain. Calloused brain. Because you've been thinking so goddamn hard. <sighs> I haven't been thinking much at all, dude. That's not true. Yesterday was a rough day for me. I know. You were in absolute hell. Thank you to the listeners for being able to postpone us one day. Yeah, I. Uh, it was just... Uh, when I was on the yak, I was on Ativan because I got off my flight. Is that why you were saying ridiculous shit? I was shit? saying really <laughs> stupid stuff. <laughs> and like, I just, I was telling them earlier, I, I had no control over what my mind was doing or what my mouth was saying. I was just saying things. That's a crazy get out of jail yeah, free card. Being like, yo, like, don't say that. And I would double down and make it even worse <laughs> over and over again. If it helps, I thought it was funny. Yeah, a lot of people didn't. I thought you saying it was funny. I don't think that the subject matter was. Exactly. I don't think it was funny at all. I thought you were funny. Yeah, you were funny. No, it was what I said was uh, despicable. (laughs) (laughs) Anyone else think police shooters are funny? I I genuinely felt bad after. (laughs) And then uh, a bunch of people were DMing me, like being like, you're a piece of shit. I was like, "Eh, you're probably a piece of shit too. Yeah, that's the one thing that nobody who's like out there telling you how shitty you are is any yeah. better than you. Yeah, you're definitely a piece of shit. If you have like, if you're like in, if you're like, I'm going to DM this guy and tell me he's a piece of shit. You're probably also a piece of shit. If you're reaching out to people to like harass them online, your life is so bad and yeah. like, you'll do anything to get out of it. But it's I respectable. Almost. That was, uh, I, I did. I was like, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> but didn't like two minutes after you said it, you were like, I, like doubled down. You were like, I don't care if you guys don't think it's funny because yeah. I laughed at it. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Which dude. makes me think what you're saying right now is not true at all. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> I did feel bad. <laughs> and I, I thought about releasing an, a, a formal apology, but then I was like, that's that. There's like five people that actually care about this. 
yeah. I'm not going to make it so everyone cares about it. That would amplify it way bigger yeah, if you yeah. note sapped it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I did feel bad. And uh, it was a rough day, dude. I think you could post an apology video and people would be like, Sash refuses to miss. Dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> waiting on the punchline. Yeah, yeah. What would you say? How would you apologize? I don't know. We don't need to get into that. No, please, please. We've already talked about it. No, I, sw- I, rep- I replied to one dude and I was like, that was stupid of me. I'm sorry. And then we went and we got into like a 10 tweet back and forth of him being like, you're such a piece of shit. I hate you. You're not funny. Did you tell him that you were on beta blockers, that you were on inhibitors? <laughs> I kept on replying and saying, I'm so sorry. I will make this up to you somehow. <laughs> and then he DM'd me like 10 minutes later and was like, delete all of the messages. Or delete all of the tweets. <laughs> like as in like he'll delete his if I delete mine. So did he? I was like, okay. Did he delete his? Yeah. And you deleted yours? He got mad because I started, I kind of twisted it and made it funny when I kept on telling him I was going to make it up to him. Because <laughs> then I would say, I, I would say, I'm going to make it up to you. And then he would freak out even more. He'd be like, you think this is so funny, don't you? <laughs> and I was like, I'm very sorry. <laughs> and then he'd, yeah, then he DM'd me. That's love though. Yeah. He's keeping you accountable and you're keeping him accountable. I am. Yeah. And I think that you should be able to explore the outer fringes of your sense of humor without anybody getting mad at you. No, no, no. I don't. You should be able to at least get like you could you can go there and be like, oh, that's a little bit uneven footing on the edge right here. Let me walk it back a little bit. There was just some people that were showing me the video this weekend that were laughing at it. And I was like, oh, you know what? They'll think this is funny. And then I said it and I was like, I shouldn't have said that. (laughs) And then the anxiety that came over me for the next 17 hours was like something I've never experienced in my life. So it wasn't even you that thought it was funny. No, dude, it was, I was, t- I was possessed by a demon yesterday. You were joke thieving is what you were doing. I wasn't joking. You were thieving a bit, dude. I was thieving an idea. You were, you were idea thieving, yeah. which is even worse. Honestly, I don't really care what you think about <laughs> the police shootings, but concept thieving, not you, Sass. <laughs> I also, uh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to get into the, was it the Bills players? The Bills players were dying the, Bills team. the whole, they were the gathered around up on a projector, <laughs> like breaking down the film. Like it was a fucking no, pitch kidding, to the right. Talk bad about the Bills players. That's my family. Oh, you're a Bills guy now? No, that's my family. Well then take off the cowboy sweatshirt. Dude, I don't have any other clean sweatshirts. Can we just unstitch the sweatshirt? Can we just take off? The- Good. I would do that. Take off the part that says Cowboys. Yeah. Or maybe if it just says Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Alice is cool. Fan of the city. Alice and football are both yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the fact that you went to Buffalo now, I, I think, is a way sweeter town than than Dallas. I don't know. You tell me about it. I've never been to Dallas. I uh, know I have been to Dallas. Of course, we went to Dallas together. I know. That's what I said. And then you dropped me, and then you we, you made us drop you at the airport while you abandoned us <laughs> for a day in Dallas. Yeah, you had a you had a. A fucking company card in a day in Dallas. You could have been like Ferris Bueller. You could have gone on a fuck fest. Isn't Sydney Sweeney from Dallas? Uh, we got to Dallas at like 10 p.m. When? Oh, no, that it day? 6 p.m. Yeah, no, it wasn't. You did abandon us. No, you could have had a fuck fest. You abandoned Tyler. Weren't you and Tyler in Dallas for like uh, six hours? And you were just, just like... the hotel. And-, and you just laid in your hotel room. Yes. Yeah, you Actually, could've... no, I went out. And Sydney was in state. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was stupid of me. Oh, that was, he was right at the block. In the hotel that was actively under construction. Yeah, dude. We were on the first floor of the hotel, which is always a bad sign. It's if it's just me and Sass, we're, we're going to get the back of the plane. Yeah. Bad hotel, but if Roan's around. Yeah. That's the good stuff. They, they shipped Roan out a night early. What a uh, damn ass. Was it like a four story hotel in like a shopping mall type of deal? Yes. I fucking hate those hotels. It's like a strip mall with a hotel. The worst ones, like a Days Inn Express or some shit like that, or a fucking Residence Inn or some shit like that. It sucked. They're all exactly the same. Even if they're a little bit different, they're all the same. I'm going out to Texas this weekend. Austin? And Mook. The Mook's coming with me. You are Mook? Sure. Yeah, only two, sh- only two nights, which I'm excited about. I don't want to do the Thursday show. What, what are you going to say on stage? Me? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my, my bits, brother. That's fucking sick, <laughs> yeah. dude. Do my bits. That's fucking incredible. It'll be fun, though. We're doing Creek in the Cave, which is a fun club. What's your best bit, Mook? No, you don't have to give away your joke. How about one that you've burnt? <laughs> one that you've gotten rid of? Be- a favorite one that you don't, you don't do don't anymore? Don't say your jokes. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They're fucked but, uh, up. Man, good man. I know they're fucked up. I think we're going to shoot some guns this weekend, potentially, dude. Guns again? We're definitely going to shoot guns again. Fully autos? Oh, we're going full auto. Also a good chance. Right after I- your burger take. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. There's also a good chance that I uh, <laughs> oh, and you just throw a whopper up. <laughs> I 
I might be there as like a learning experience. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I might be like, help me understand why I'm why this is so. Bad. Why am I like this? Why am I be like this? They might not even let me shoot. In Texas, they might be like, we've seen what you've said. We've seen your tweets, brother. How about an AR fifty? Out of here. No, they uh, they, they'll probably be like, you think that was funny? Watch yeah. these ones. Something funny about uh, gun ranges is is humor doesn't really work there. Really? Yeah. Me and Mook were making jokes and they were not laughing. I think I uh, whatever. We'll move on. What were those jokes? I don't know. I just keep on going through scenarios in my head where I'm like, I probably shouldn't say that. No, go ahead, Mook. It was just a lot of uh, modern warfare references. Oh, I believe. Mm. that's fine. And the lady at the front counter was being annoying, and I was like, uh, "Just turn around." <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I was joking about turning around with the gun and <laughs> shooting the window. <laughs> and then Mook was like, "You probably shouldn't say that." And I was like, "Yeah, you're probably." probably <laughs> Everyone there is armed and and uh, very good at shooting. <laughs> I'm a comic. <laughs> yeah, I do stand up. Jokes about murder at gun <laughs> don't really play that well. Yeah, that's yeah hijacking jokes after September 11th type of type also, of. Vibes. I bet they're waiting for that day. I bet they're ready. Dude, when we were going shooting, we were like talking about going, and some dude was like, "Yeah, he's like, dude, a lot of people just go and buy one bullet and just kill themselves." We were like, "Oh, okay." I was like, "A lot of people." Well, oh, I hope that doesn't happen. Why do they let them buy one bullet? <laughs> Yeah, if someone's going in and buying one <laughs> bullet, maybe like don't let them do that. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, one bullet's crazy. Yeah, we'll just do the one. What are you gonna use it for? <laughs> have and give me one bullet. <laughs> yeah, imagine fucking up and having to go back and yeah. get a second. Shit, <laughs> just leaking blood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just one more, dude. <laughs> yeah. I promise, just one more. A hole in your cheek. <laughs> do holes in cheeks? I guess they don't really kill you. No. Godfather 1, the guy shoots him in the cheek, and he's just like, fine, he has to put the second one in his head. Have you ever seen The Godfather? Uh, no. I've seen the first one. I've never seen the second one. I've heard the second one's better than the first one. The second one, I watched them both on the plane this week. It's, it's extraordinary. They're both extraordinary. Damn, it must have been a long flight if you watched both Godfathers. Yeah, it was Los Angeles. Hour flight? Six. Damn. Six there, six back. Or we stopped in Detroit and Pittsburgh. You don't care about that. Tell me about Buffalo, brother. No, I do care. No, I'm saying I don't. It, no, oh, I don't care about how long the flight was. Yeah, exactly. No, not really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, no one cares about that. That was my point. Yo, let's talk about how long you're. <laughs> let's so, do 30 minutes on that flight. <laughs> <laughs> did it feel like six? Like yeah. I know it was six, but did it feel like six? No, I was on drugs, brother. Is, I heard the way back is shorter. Is uh, that true? I was on the hard ones, dude. Really? What were you on? I was on fucking. Fucking pure black tar heroin. Damn. You were on Zannies? No, heroin. That's strong. I went much stronger than dude, that. When I was in Pittsburgh, uh, where at the casino, dude, I'd never seen... Have you ever been in a bathroom where there's a syringe container? No, never. Yeah. I was wondering what that was. Dude, there was a syringe container and it was full to the brim, dude. There were syringes like falling out of the top of it. For used syringes or is it for the old syringes? Used syringes. Use syringes. Or, I mean, not old. I mean, new ones. Use syringes. It's for people that went into the bathroom, used a syringe. Maybe, I guess, diabetics or... How many diabetics to fill up a whole thing? That was one of my first thoughts. I can't believe we didn't talk about it. I thought it was nothing but heroin needles. We were in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. I, I, it definitely was. It was definitely a lot of heroin needles at the casino. But it could have also been a lot of diabetics at a casino, dude. Casinos have diabetics, yeah. smokers, people with walkers. There's just a lot of overlap with that. You were at a casino. I was, yeah. I won $200. Just fucking go, dude. And, uh, roulette. You're a good gambler. Dude, I won a lot of money this weekend. Yeah? I won $200 playing roulette, and then I won, uh, I think, $300 on the Bills game. You did? Maybe 400 What? Yeah. But then I lost another 100 so I don't know what happened to that. What's all this money? Uh, that's just from... Uh, <laughs> that's just from the shows. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're fucking paid, dude. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Are you going to spend it on anything nice or just wear the exact same clothes and live in that ratty apartment always? I'm going to not spend it on anything. And save it for what? More roulette. Here's a little uh, a little tip, dude. Roulette you that is fun. <laughs> my first time being at a casino. What'd you bet on? What? I'm saying what color? Oh, you know, red, black, even <laughs> odds, 19 to 32. You were jumping around? Yeah. I never that was less than 50% odds, though. What? 
less than 50% odds. Yeah, I never played on the inside. A lot of people play, play the inside of the table, not me. Mm. It's because I didn't know how. <laughs> Just, I think it's the easiest gambling game. It is. It was easy as fuck. But I almost lost everything. And then I put all my chips on uh, like black or something and it hit. And I was like, oh, I'm cashing out now. I think it's the funnest gambling game because you don't really have to think about that much strategy. Oh, Shane was playing blackjack, lost all of his money, like similar to happen to me, won it all back. Then we're about to leave and he comes over to the roulette table and puts all of his money on one, on like black and then loses. <laughs> and we just left. Damn. Yeah. That's Dumbass. devastating. What a fucking idiot. No, what an idiot. Should have roasted him. No. Should have lit him up to his face. He did. What was it? Uh, what was it like hanging out th- out out there with him? It seemed like it was a kind of your biggest comedy booking to date. Yeah, dude, it was really fun. It was a great weekend. Uh, I was super nervous going into the Thursday show, and then uh, the show went very well. I, I I think I I think my set, all of my sets, the, except for the s- Friday early show, all of my sets this weekend were like better than when I'm like headlining. Like, I was doing very well. You think he just had a good-ass crowd? I think he has a very good crowd. It's just, like, people that want to see comedy. As opposed to your crowd, who's, like... Half of them come in, they're like, oh, I've never actually even been to a comedy show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or they assume you're going to suck. Or they're like, yeah, I thought you were going to suck. <laughs> they're buying tickets to your downfall? Yeah. Shane and LaMare both said that, though. What? He said, we thought you were going to suck. <laughs> they did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were like, we were pretty happy with how that went. We thought you would suck. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, well, I'm glad I didn't suck. That is kind of, uh, that is kind of your... Uh, it's like... LaMare told me that when he found out I was going, he was talking a lot of shit. He was? Because he had to host and I was featuring. He was pissed off? Yeah. Maybe he should get his Twitter numbies up. Yeah, LaMare was great. He was, uh, he was very funny. But he just doesn't have as many Twitter followers as you. Yeah. I'd, I'd, there were some sass heads out there, too. There were? Yeah. Let's fucking go. How could you tell? Because uh, they would come up to me after and be like, holy fuck, dude, I didn't know you were going to be here. I didn't know you were going to be here. I thought you were going to fucking suck, dude. <laughs> holy shit. What feels better, making an already fan laugh or flipping somebody who is a doubter? Oh, flipping somebody for sure. Yeah. It's usually, I look for the oldest people in the crowd and if they're laughing, you're like, I'm doing well. Because that's the best feeling when you're like, oh, these jokes are working for someone who's like 70 years older than me. <laughs> That's the best. We talked on the phone while you were uh, on on uh, s- Saturday night or whatever, as you were as you guys were going out, and, and Shane said that you did good, and he said it in front of you, which like you know, he- I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Well, I I don't remember that at all, to be honest. Were you fucked up? You were drinking a lot. <laughs> except go. for except for Friday night, we didn't drink a lot. Thursday night, we were like, all right, let's take it easy. Ended up going out until like four in the morning. <laughs> And then it's Friday, we did take it easy. Saturday was just like, I, I was pretty drunk, but Shane and LaMare got into like, a, like an argument about who could drink uh, a car bomb faster. They end up having like six car bombs each, <laughs> like in like, in like two minutes. <laughs> what and kind then, of argument is that? Shane was like, I could beat you in a Bud Light. And then they did the Bud Light like three times. Well, who won the car bomb? Shane, I think. But we kept on saying LaMare to piss off Shane. Who was we? Who else was there? Or it was just you, LaMare, and Shane? LaMare, yeah. And so the two of you, were, so you were saying LaMare was- I kept on being like, LaMare won that by a mile. <laughs> and then Shane would be like, all right, let's get another car bomb. And so you guys were obliterated. What's in a car bomb? A shot of whiskey and a Guinness? I think it's a, it's a Guinness. It's a little Jameson and Bailey's. Oh, nice. And, but you didn't do any of them. No, I did. You were doing did, car bombs like, too? too. Yeah. They're so fucking good, dude. <laughs> the guys at drinking? <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're so, so fucking good at drinking. No, no, no. Dude. Car bombs are so good. Yeah, they are. Car bombs are great. They are. Uh, yeah. You get those just like as your drink sometimes. I love them, dude. Yeah. It's a cool move. It just tastes like iced coffee. It, it, were, you tell, were you making them get them? I was the first one that ordered them for sure, yeah. And then they went off on a and car they, bomb uh, rampage? You had to have like seven more. Damn. It sounds like you guys had a, a weekend in heaven. Yeah, dude. The Sunday was crazy. So we went to the Bills game. Wait, should we do an ad before you talk about that? Sure, yeah. Oh, you went to the Bills game thanks to Game Time. That's right. Game Time. Yes. I, I can't believe that you got tickets off of Game Time, the exclusive Gillis ticketing partner. Our promo code. <laughs> yeah, Gillis. Kind of surreal. Gillis used our promo code. No way. 
The exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals, tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. I went to the Bills game this weekend, and you know how I got my tickets? Game Time. What's upcoming that you want to see, Roan? The Eagles game. Maybe you go to the uh, Eagles game. Maybe, hey, you know what? Maybe you'll go to the Lakers game. Oh, wow. See Pat Bev, live in action. Wow, okay. Courtside tickets. Courtside tickets. Shut up, dude. At game time. That was a stutter, and I didn't mean it. No, but I was quick with it, and I made fun of you. I know. You are getting very sharp. (laughs) You are getting fucking quick on your feet. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code BOYDAD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time, last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Iron sharpens iron. You're getting so fast, and it's it's disturbing, dude. In about five years, I'm going to be fucking drunk in an ill-fitting suit (laughs) outside of your show being like, I fucking made you, sass. And you'll throw like $300 bills and be like, get him the fuck out of here. No, no, no. Get him the fuck out of here. Never happen. I fucking... You'd never be up there if it wasn't for me, sass. (laughs) Um, Came out of my nut. I am excited to listen to this Pat uh, Pat Bev podcast though, Pat Bev featuring Ron. Yeah, that was that fucked up. Was so fucking funny. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. That it was. It's just tough that uh, that's. Uh, I told it as like a funny joke. I didn't, never even had to see the light of day, and I told it as a funny joke. And now uh, people just start calling me Ron to my face. Every no, it's not surprising <laughs> at every turn. It was so funny. dude. I've when given him the keys. Wallace is like, so what do you think about your co-host Ron? <laughs> He's like, actually, I learned that it's not as his name. That's not his name. His name's not Ron. <laughs> yeah. Learned that real quick. <laughs> Shit, I learned that day one. <laughs> dude, but he is funny, dude. He is, uh, where he's just like intense as fuck. Yeah. He, he's just super, uh, uh, just locked 10X. in on everything. He is super 10X. He was like, the coach called over uh, Anthony Davis and LeBron and Russell Westbrook, and I wasn't in the huddle. And I want to be in that huddle. So by the end of the year, I'm going to be in that huddle. And he just didn't like blink. He was just like eyes staring at me the entire time. He's intense as fuck. Is he like really good? I don't really know much about him. He's just super intense and he just is a winner. He's never missed the playoffs in his league, really? in, in his career. He's just been on shitty teams and he he's just He's a shit them. talker too, right? Yeah, an immense shit talker. Yeah, a shit talker. And you're a shit talker. No, I am not, dude. Oh yeah, you are. When have I ever talked you shit? You and him together, that's going to be trouble. <laughs> I would hate to be on the wrong side I've of that. I've never talked shit to, what, like, give me an, even Rat. one example. Ron and Pat Bev. I know. Who's famous Ron's in history? All I could think of is Ron Weasley. Oh, Donald. Yeah, they're all goofs, dude. They're all yeah, redheaded they're all goofs. They're goofs, dude. <laughs> you don't want to be a Ron. A <laughs> Ronald, dude. Uh, Ron. Shout out Gidry. There was a, uh, uh, <laughs> there's a battle rap league in England called uh, King of the Ronalds. And like a Ronald is like a goof. Like, they're, you know, <laughs> you're a fucking Ronald. Really? And uh, King of KOTR was like making fun of King of the Dot and it's King of the Ronalds. And it's supposed to be like goofy ass battles. That's dude. hilarious. <laughs> this dude, Mickey Worthless, started it up, dude. Big ups, Mickey Worthless, dude. Big Fuck ups. It. Big ups, big things. <laughs> you got to get to okay, England. Right. Yeah, you're going to go over to you. When you go to UK, can I come? Yes. Can I videographer you? Sure, I don't think I'm going to England anymore time soon why not because why would i do that because that's the natural arc for comedians you go to australia you go to ireland you go to england you go to places where they speak english you I think australia you i don't know maybe i'm wrong i would say australia i've heard that australia like they're huge fans of american comedy huh but british people are big fans of british comedy <laughs> huh Interesting. I know. I'm also I, wrong about that, probably. No, no. Don't second guess yourself. I know Australia. Everyone says like Australia is like easier to sell tickets in because they're like obsessed with American comedy there. Just because they like to drink and get wild. Yeah. In British comedy, they have this like fancy idea of like being dry as fuck. Yeah, yeah, probably. Throw it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's in the lorry. <laughs> I'm going to go to the loo. Hell yeah. Type of shit. Yeah. It's exactly in the boot. Like yeah. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> Any other British words you know? Yeah, I, that was all of them. Dude, I just, all, all I'm trying to do is fucking travel, dude. I spend two days in New York and I get pissed off, dude. I'm trying to, ju- I'm trying to go to some fucking exotic locations. Yeah, when are we doing Neighborhood Eats again? When does that get fired up? The spring? Yeah, not until the spring. We got to go some places before then. But we are definitely doing seafood this time around. Hell yeah. I'm super excited for that. Big time seafood, dude. Seafood's harder to get stuffed on, too. Oh, and come back for neighborhood eats. I was just thinking, I'm probably gonna come back. Yeah, for neighborhood eats. <laughs> yeah, dude, Timmy likes to eat. Yeah, yo, 
crossover yeah, <laughs> that could yeah, be nice over in hawaii what are you gonna uh for people that don't know dude owen owen got a new job dude yeah, Owen's hey, new yeah. Job. Hey, we gotta let owen go which is sad but also um super exciting like i'm almost more uh personally excited for you then i'm sad for the show just because it's going to be fucking awesome and just like Appreciate the start it. of the show we're all talking about tim dylan and shane gillis and now sass is on the road with shane gillis and yeah, we were talking about pat <laughs> we definitely <laughs> never talked about pat Bev. and and fucking tim dylan now you're fucking hired by tim dylan it's just like man, it hit, we did 10 exit and manifested and shit like that we need yeah. to start talking about more prolific people so we can fucking link on with them <laughs> we gotta yeah we gotta talk about leonardo the cap but uh, I'm gonna ramble about Bezos for a few weeks. We need to, Delta dude. Nine, I think that we could talk it into existence. But what kind of what kind of uh, shit are you gonna be doing? Are you gonna be doing extra shit with him, or just like working on the podcast? Or are you gonna put some of your good ass ideas in his brain? Yeah. So uh, to start, I'll just be taking over producing the podcast and keeping that afloat, which I've been doing. Same stuff I do here, just audio and video and clips for each episode and distributing that. And then uh, what was exciting to me is he talked about, uh, yeah, trying to get super creative and like maybe revamp the show with some segments. He wants to get back into sketches, maybe shorts and uh, yeah, work on some bigger pitches and projects. And how, how long until you bring Tyler with you? Dude, I tried. <laughs> I really did. I tried asking like most of the people here to leave with me. <laughs> I really did. I'm starting like, a revolution. Just like just like one, just like come. I'll I'll split it. And We're all going. Go. Go. <laughs> but on the DP show this week. Uh, no. Which what? Which is neat. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think he ever really. I never got on his radar, which I loved. Yeah, no, he knew who you were though. Yeah, but. I, like I was in the yeah, second time. gen of Barstool where it was kind of, uh, I don't know, I think Big Cat and Rowan kind of run the office more than Dave in a nice way. But No, no, I don't think I don't think that's true at all. But uh, I, I do think that that was very nice of you to say. But uh, he did uh, come mean, up. To, like he, people used to be like afraid of Dave's approval. I think people. Now they're afraid of me. I think people <laughs> vibe for the approval of you guys now. The elders. Uh, that's that's nice of you, but uh, w my favorite interaction with you and Dave is when he came into the kitchen and and you were like getting apple jacks or some shit, and he was like, "You need to get your team together, <laughs> get your fucking team in shape." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was when uh, Dukes made a that was when Dukes an iffy yeah comment about gambling, yeah. But I was like an equal to Dukes, and yeah, yeah, Dave came in. He was like, "Get your fucking team in order." <laughs> like, Who did he cool. think you were, and how old did he think you were? Because I think he's definitely ageist, and he so he respects people that are oh, yeah. old. And yeah. uh, I think that he must have thought you were older. Or yeah, I'm giving forty, but like a clemmer forty. <laughs> yeah. Give a hard lived forty. 40. Yeah. You're like what? Dude, another thing I was trying to remember is the ethnicity of the dudes in the shipping containers that you used to smoke with and uh, play poker yeah. with. Uh, yeah. They were Korean? Uh, I thought they were Thai or like Cantonese or some shit. Uh, multiple forms of Asian. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, but they would speak mainly ma Mandarin, actually. So what was that? You went to a shipping containers in Queens, Gowanus or some shit? Yeah, that was awesome. That was... Uh, Where was it specifically? I it was in Flushing, Queens. Flushing. Um, yeah, right when quarantine started, I was trying to, uh, not drink 24 seven anymore. So I was just trying to think of anything to do. And, uh, yeah, one of the first things I did was I found poker and I studied that and I went to meetup.com. <laughs> I found a shipping container in Flushing, Queens, and I found some brothers there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it advertised as a shipping container? It, it, really minimal advertisement, but, uh. <laughs> And then from there, I actually just sunk my teeth into like a lot of sports book and gambling stuff. And that's how I got my foot in the door here. That's sick. That's gnarly as hell. Pretty neat, dude. I think this place, uh, yeah, saved me and changed my life in a lot of ways. Facts, dude. It's you, Alex Cooper. Yes. Marbles. And Jenna Marbles. The Marbles. Of. The fucking Ray. Mm -hmm. You've escaped. Also creates Josh Prey up next. Yeah, Josh Prey. Yeah, that's a fucking man. That's that's my Rushmore too, dude. Good for you, bro. I'm I'm happy as Thank hell you, for you. Man. You haven't Good said. I'm surprised you're not going on Dave's show, though. I will say that. I think I'm gonna talk to someone about that. Get that <laughs> happening. Please don't. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like that they would like that would be like the biggest news for their show? Yeah, he'll bring it up and uh, like yeah, heard. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, what else? Good for him.
<laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who? Hey, what do you want me to do here? Yeah. <laughs> I said, Very happy for him. Yeah. Very happy for him. He blocked. <laughs> no, I think he'll be like, that's a great success story. But I also, uh, if he says one nice thing, it'll be one more nice thing than Sass has said this entire time. You know what I mean? Sass lives with you and Sass can't even, well, he I've, can't even I've, slap I've, you on the ass on the I way out the door. For like three weeks. Huh? So you can't say something nice publicly? I'm just saying this has, has lip service. So people well, are like, ah, Rowan respects Owen. It's a lot different for you because you don't live with him. And you, so you don't respect really, him? Me and Owen's relationship. Like he sees really what a monster I am. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's really going to change between us. You find his shavings in the sink and you're like, fuck this guy. <laughs> you can't get to Dylan soon enough. <laughs> Why don't you say something nice then? No, I'm very happy for him and he knows that because I've already expressed that. In what way? Hey, bro, I don't, I don't really need to use him for clout points like you. I d badly uh, need to. Less of that, less of that. <laughs> I badly a, need I will say, Sass is a, he's a much better friend than people might give him credit for. He's been very kind throughout the whole thing. He was. Just, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro, but you didn't see that coming, did you? Good for you. <laughs> Nobody sees that side of you, dude. That's why you need a podcast that shows the real you. He was one of the first person I told. I broke down and he goes, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, Chill with that. Being a pussy. <laughs> what? I was like, you're not actually thinking about not taking that job, right? <laughs> yeah. be really pissed. Sass he, must be so like, jealous. I was like, dude, you're not thinking about how this is going to benefit me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it all benefits you, dude. This is, I mean, this is one step closer. It'll benefit everybody. This is one step closer to you being on the Patreon. Yeah. Um, this is one step closer to Ben Avery being in here. <laughs> yeah, we got to get him on. That would be his side of the Kind of hilarious if you guys hired him. I mean, we got to at least get him on, dude, so he can Should air it out. Get him. Because this is like the one place, you know what I mean? It's a natural crossover yeah. where he can kind of uh, just air out the cl his clean laundry. His definitely clean laundry. It is funny that our producer has been stolen by the biggest comedy podcast. Yeah. Compliment. I know. What the fuck? Why, yeah. why did he steal us? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been asking for weeks. No, no, it's very clear why. I'm grading. Um... So, uh, Sass, are you going on a show today? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a, well, I think I'm doing Madden Chains. What, dude? What? You, we, we, you really need to start manifesting something greater. I'm being serious about this now. Bro, I've already manifested everything I could possibly imagine. That's what I mean. You need to fucking unchain the shackles and be like, I'm going to be on a, on a television show. I'm going to want to do that. When is White Lotus coming out? Yeah, yeah I know, right? Uh, I don't know that. When's that, your uh, season of White Lotus coming out, <laughs> <laughs> dude? That uh, which character are you going to be? Because I'm watching the. Fucking I don't know if I'm. I don't want to want to say. I don't know if it's all out yet. It it, it is it's out yet. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to be. Out. <laughs> I auditioned for Albie DeGrazzo and the and the guy that's playing him is this like Jack. Yeah, that, I, I was watching old, the like thing. I was like, foot dude. is that you? That was yeah. supposed to be you? I was like, damn, no wonder I didn't get this. <laughs> I also had no chance of getting it. Yeah, you did. It was like the day after I shaved my head. If you blew them away. I was like, hey, uh, they were like, so are you going to send in this tape? And I was like, uh, by the way, I uh, don't have any hair anymore. This guy always talks about being in the gym. He's about to be jacked. He's, his body's still growing. We've seen him. We've only listened to the pod, and we can we assume that he's. He jacked. always talks about being. He sounds tall and strong. <laughs> he's super. He's about to get this raise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's about to be making a shit ton of money at Barstool. We need to get him now. We need to get him on White Lotus. What's the guy's name that writes all that? His name's Mike something. Mike. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Mike White, I think. I was that guy's a long a time. That was almost beast. a year ago. I know. Your life would be so different now if you had just manifested that hard. I don't really know if, like, I, I don't want, I, like, that'd be one thing that would suck, I think, about doing, like, TV stuff would be having to, imagine recording something and be like, all right, this will be out next year. Yeah. It would kind of be sweet, though. Your whole body would change. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I would like, uh, I like, I'm more of an instant gratification person. Yeah. It'd be a cool move to be like jacked as fuck in a movie and then show up fat as fuck for the premiere. <laughs> probably <laughs> or vice versa. All the time. Yeah, you're right. Having a personal trainer is such bullshit. It's a hack. Yeah, it's like I want to get a personal. Nah, it's like I'm, I'm like never have I had less of an urge to work out, but I need to start because I'm feeling right now. So I was telling them today was feeling like uh, 
like like the the Lord blessed me with one more day on earth. Yeah, you should have died yesterday. Yeah, with all the prescription drugs you were abusing and I the amount so of alcohol you were crushing and the shitty ass food you were eating. You just so many pizza logs. Is that what you were eating? So I, many I, pizza I'm, logs, and they were so fucking good. I found myself fantasizing about what you were eating. The wings were not great. At at I don't know Anchor Bar. At Anchor Bar, yeah, I think that those aren't the it's nice when you get when we ordered fifty wings for three people and they come out ice cold. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's unacceptable. That's supposed, be, that's supposed to be the original wing place, and apparently, I heard rumors they don't even uh, toss them; they paint them. I think that Half sometimes out. when you go to the original place, it's not as good yeah. as like some place that's like been been crushing it for like twelve to fifteen years, and people are going fucking ape shit over it. The buffalo bites at Helium were better than the uh, the buffalo wings at Anchor Bar. And I think you can get. I don't think you can only get one wing while you're in Buffalo. You got to get. You got to get wings at multiple places. Did you try any buffalo style pizza? Like that thick ass pizza, that thick ass bubbly pizza. Uh oh wait no yes 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 I had some of that uh, after the Bills game. Was it good? Yeah. It was I good. feel like it's like really hearty. Yeah, that was very good. And warms the body for a cold ass winter. That was good. The pizza logs were like the best. Thing what is it? What's had. a pizza log? It's like an egg roll with just cheese and pepperoni in it. That's fucking incredible. It was so good, dude. I ate like 70 of them. I used to be, I, I worked at a pizza place where they would make like uh, pizza egg rolls or cheesesteak egg rolls or whatever. Yeah. And they just like take a pie, slice it into slices and then just roll the shit up like a fucking blunt and then drop it in a deep fryer. So yeah, it's just yeah, that's like a it piece was. of pizza that's yeah. rolled up and deep fried. It's like exactly what it was. It was <laughs> so fucking good. horrific when you see it made because they definitely paint that shit with butter on the outside oh, as well. Yeah, dude. But it's so good. It was like one of the few things I like and like, I don't know. I have a cold sore. So I'm eating the wings. I take like, I had like two wings. All of a sudden my cold sore like breaks open and it was in so much pain with just buffalo sauce getting inside of it. Yeah, just pouring fucking yeah. heat into a wound. <laughs> yeah, into an open cut. But it's got to be great. Strictly pizza roll, pizza rolls, uh, pizza logs, sorry. I'm sure that Shane and LaMare didn't make fun of you for that at all. No, they did. They did? Yeah, but they also, what? Uh, they also both ate probably 25 wings. <laughs> And just crushed car bombs. It was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> they just fucking pour heat into their body. Yeah, dude. dude they're just they're, these weekends, it's like, it's like, it, I, I think it has to be hard to be more unhealthy. <laughs> like, like, dude, you, you black out, you wake up, you go eat like the shittiest food you can find, and then you go back to bed for like seven hours until the show. And wake up and fucking pour heat Man. out of your body. Yeah, yeah. And just diarrhea. Like no one's ever done before. And it it's the life. It is like the life that men want to live. Like you work hard so you can ha you can like not do that. Like it is the it is the goal. Dude, it is hard. It, it was uh this one this weekend. It, it, I think I would have been fine if we didn't have the Sunday. The Sunday is what broke me. If you guys had Francis there, imagine how like uh out, fish out of water he would have been. He likes to Francis. treat his body so well and you guys treated your body yeah, he dragged it through a mud pit. Yeah, Francis would. Uh, ah, but Francis also he's kind of a party animal himself. Oh, yeah. I'm about to hang out with Francis this weekend, dude. You are? Yeah, I haven't Francis been able to hang out with hang him out since with he's been back. With him, pool. Yeah, you're a fucking pool sharp. I know that about you. The fuck is this, dude? Get this guy the fuck out of here. Not that didn't look like KFC. <laughs> the side, side profile. Um, but dude, Sunday like broke me because it was like we woke up. We woke up at like 10 a.m., left to go to the Bills game at like 11 a.m., get there, instantly we're like eating hot dogs and drinking beers, get into the game, I am like sitting down, we're like all sitting there having a good time, I'm like having a blast, all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm like, I'm gonna throw up right now, and I'm sitting down like in like... Like, just like in like the, f like, like, just like this, while Lemaire is next to me on my right and this other dude is to the left of me and they're having a conversation over me <laughs> while I'm like, dude, I'm going to throw up right now, like for like, the entire time. And then eventually I get up and I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom and every, I'm walking, we're set, we're row seven and every step I take, I'm going <laughs> like, like when a dog is about to throw up, you know, <laughs> <when they're> <laughs> <laughs> And people are like yelling at me, like, pull it to pick your head up. <laughs> yeah. 
and then uh-uh. get into the bath. The whole stadium saw you fucking holding your belly, stumbling. I'm, I'm wa- like, it was like so noticeable, like eyes closed, like, <laughs> and then uh, I get into the bathroom and I just sit on the toilet for like 30 minutes, probably with uh, like my pants on just being like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? And then eventually I threw up, but I was, dude, I was like, why don't you pull trig right away? It, dude, it was just so bad. It just sucked so much. And yeah. I, uh, I, I was, I, my phone was dead and I was going to go up to the security guy and be like, Hey, I'll give you $50 cash if you order me an Uber to go home. But then I threw up and I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm fine. <laughs> and we ended up drinking until like three in the morning. And then, which you just that, had to get the badness out of your body. No, dude. And then that, that just dist- like yesterday I woke up so nauseous and we're driving to the airport. Shane changed his flight to like later in the day because we were out so late and I was just, dude, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the car going to the airport. It's like a 10 minute drive and I'm like, I'm going to throw up all over this Uber. <laughs> and then I get to the airport, instantly go to the bathroom. I'm like sitting on the floor of the bathroom toilet, the airport bathroom, just pulling trig nothing's happening which makes it so much worse you say you're sitting on the floor yes <laughs> dude and then i'm like i got now, like uh, straddling the toilet like no, i was it like around you down on the bathroom floor <laughs> of the airport <laughs> that, in buffalo that's the dirtiest it was dude it was a really <laughs> really rough time that's so pathetic i know dude and then i'm like you're a grown-up man now so then i take half an out of van and then I came straight to here from, from there, from the airport. And I guess as soon as I got here, dude, I was like, I should not be here. And I was having just like, dude, the anxiety that I was experiencing the entire day yesterday was outrageous. And you're just like, I'm going to say the worst thing I've ever said yeah. on the yak. Dude, it was a rough I'm going to say the most problematic words that ever come out of my mouth. And I said the F slur, the R slur, and the N slur. No, 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 no. I never do that. Um, but it was tough. Tough day. Damn, dude. But the Sunday was fun, but Sunday is what broke me. Lying on a bathroom floor is something I don't think that I'd ever do. I would take my ass home. If you were in, if you were feeling how I felt, and we had like 20 minutes till we boarded, you would have been, I would have been, I, I almost laid down on the, on the baby changing table. <laughs> Just had someone come and burp me. <laughs> Heels was, in the air. Dude, I was in like rough shape. <laughs> And I get here, the first thing I say, everyone's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because it was, <laughs> admittedly, the worst thing you've ever said, yeah. dude. I was like, uh, I feel so shitty. Oh, this will be funny. And then the whole room turns to me and it's like, dude, you fucking piece but of There is something to be said about that, like, uh, when everybody's on that same page of being hung over and joking, like, everybody's lying on the couches together at, like, a shore house or, like, a house that you've all rented and you're all, like, busting it up, like, talking shit. Yeah. You can say the most fucked up shit there, but all of us were on, like, a Monday morning vibe, like, <laughs> at our coffee, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, being like, uh, what? Yeah, it was bad. It was not a not a good day for me. I uh, I, I don't want to drink at all this weekend. That's just the pendulum swinging because you had a memoir worthy weekend, and then it's just going to swing back for you to have a shitty Monday, and you'll be fucking good to go by the I'll weekend. Have a shitty Monday next week because I, usually you're home on Sunday. It was just because we went to the Bills game. What are you doing? You're going to uh, Austin this weekend. Yeah, but just Friday, Saturday. You'll be back Sunday. Yes. Let's watch the Birds game. Yeah, I would. It's Eagles Cowboys. Oh. F- Fuck. Pick a side. Oh, well, obviously the birds. Dude. Is you a gangster or a bitch? <laughs> Make your mind up. Dude, when are you going to get me a uh, Eagles sweater? I got you one. It's on my desk. And you said you won't wear it because it's like the, a shade of green that makes your hair look long or some dumb shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You said it makes you look like and a raggedy Andy doll. Happen? You didn't buy me one? Yes, I did. Liar. I... <laughs> <laughs> That is such a lie. The way you reject my gifts, my <laughs> love language, the uh, my opposite of a toxic trait, dude. I have my toxic traits and I lay them bare for you at all times, <laughs> dude. I fucking am upfront about the things that I'm bad at. And everybody knows it, dude. It's the terrifying ordeal of being known. But my good qualities are I give you presents like fucking Santa Claus, dude. I shower you with gifts and you fucking refuse them at every turn. No. For shame. You would if I got if you got me an eagle sweatshirt, I would have been rocking that right now. For shame. I would have burned this cowboy sweatshirt long ago. No, for shame. 
No, this eagle sweatshirt will not make you. It will not be flattering on your buffalo winged ass body. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What does it look like? It's a little bit snug. Oh, really? <laughs> Snug, yeah. some, snug can help sometimes. Yeah, it packs it in like yeah, a yeah. girdle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a ran wrap in your body. It's like a fucking uh, corset. Tightens things up. A corsage. Let's talk about Shady Rays, baby. It's time for Shady Rays, sassy. Shady Rays sunglasses offer an industry best of combination, best combination of fit, style, and performance without the big brand price tag. If you're going to a Bills game sitting in row seven, the sun's going to be in your eyes because your seats are so goddamn good. Yeah. And if you want a good pair of sunglasses to match your nice lifestyle of having good seats at a football game, you want Shady Rays, and it doesn't stop at quality. They offer the most insane protection program in eyewear, and every pair of it's backed by lost and broken and replacements. If you lose or break a pair, even on day one, they'll send you a brand new pair. Wear with confidence because Shady Rays has your back long after you purchase. Sash, talk to these motherfuckers. Look, when I think of sunglasses, I think Shady Rays. Pay for the voice. <laughs> they pay for the voice. <laughs> The voice. Just give the call to action. Exclusively for our listeners. <laughs> yeah, Shady right. Ray is giving out their very best deal of the season. <laughs> Head on down to ShadyRays.com and use code SUN for 50% off two plus pairs of salt polarized sunglasses. Head on down to Shady Rays. It's Shady Rays, baby. That's what they pay for. That's what we make. That's what they pay the big bucks for. Yeah, bro. You're getting paid under the table. You just got a Shady Rays, bro. If you know what I mean. You're Shady Ray, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna start calling you Shady Ray. Don't, do <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. dude. Ray is such a stepdad Shady Ray. name. Shady Ray lying to me about fucking being in Philly when you're out in goddamn L.A. Let's go to a fucking playoff baseball game, dude. You want to? Oh no, you're not gonna be here on Friday. Phillies play at home on Friday, though. Really? Phillies. The show. Phillies brave. The shows. You honestly should. A hooky. Buy us tickets. No, I can't. You got You just got a shady raise, dude. Good, I think good. These shows are actually going to sell out, which will be cool. Yeah, yeah. But what are you going to do with the money, dude? What is this pursuit of fucking cash going to bring you if you can't buy yourself a good time and go down to Citizens Bank Ballpark, watch the <laughs> fighting Phils, dude? Yeah, dude. You, the thing about me is I've always been a big Phillies fan. Yeah, and you're due to spoil me. You're due I to know. shower me in a in a Why nice. Don't you come gift. to Austin? No. Yeah, come on. No. Come on, yeah, come on down to Austin. No. Yeah, come. On. We can go to. We can go. Uh, Go see Rogies. <laughs> That's what you need to start talking into existence. No, that would be too much. Yeah, if you talk it into existence, it'll just... Dude. Yeah, or no, I think just one of our producers will wind up getting hired by him. Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> You're getting rid of Jamie. No, they would never get rid of Jamie. <laughs> Don't say that. That's what they, it is what they said about Ben, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, those two are like this. <laughs> They're never going to break apart. I was, I was big on the drama. You were? Oh, yeah. I was making posts in the Tim Dillon Reddit. <laughs> Yo, I'm hearing murmurs at this fucking bar stool. What what the hell is going on? Bring he's, back where's Ben? He's got the stain of bar stool. Oh, I was on the Reddit. They, it was very well received. Oh really? Yeah. I saw you were typing, you were like oh, yeah. <laughs> You guys have seen his audio from the road, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was joking. <laughs> I was joking about You saw that Kennesaw. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that Kennesaw audio. Holy shit. This guy oh. doesn't even know how to use a Zoom recorder. He doesn't know how to program a card. Yeah. He wants guys to be like... always very patient with me. <laughs> he wants Thank to be you. like Two Bears, One Cave, not sound like it was recorded in a cave. <laughs> That's a whole other audio. Uh, the, uh, it was very well received, though. Everyone was like, this is a great choice by the pig. <laughs> so they all call him. They call him the pig. What? That's weird as fuck, dude. He's the pig, and then he feeds them their slop. You were on the fucking uh, Discord under your burner, though. Fucking spamming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the chat. I was in the chat section of Discord. Yeah, spamming. Discord sucks ass. Have you ever gone on Discord and all of a sudden you're just in like a chat room with like 70 dudes and you're like, can they hear me talking right now? With no. voice? It's voice and chat. Oh, I didn't know that. It's voice and messaging. I don't know nothing about Discord, but people are always like, yeah, it was in the Discord, and they yeah, are- I don't- The juiciest shit's going down there. Discord is where all the juice happens, but I- Do, I they, do the messages expire? Is that why it's more- 
No, I think I, I only have Discord because when me and my friends play video games, we use Discord to talk sometimes because suppose this was before group FaceTime was a thing, but supposedly the audio was clearer on that than it was on like Skype. Mm -hmm. Dude, I need to get into uh, message boards again. I feel like that's where you learn a ton of shit, just message boards and not Reddit, like actual message boards where like that gnarly shit's going on. Really? I feel like uh, Reddit is like the best right now. But that's where you're going to learn about the shit that everybody's learning about. And there's going to be like fucking mods who are going to be like, you have to follow these rules or some yeah, shit. Yeah. I want the fucking Wild West of forums and fucking some gnarly shit Nick going on. Uses, doesn't Nick use his 4chan often more than any other social media platform? And look how it's working for him, dude. Yeah. He's funny and informed. Just fucking crazy. 4chan. I don't even know how you even how do you even access 4chan? Whenever anybody's... <laughs> yes, I gotta look into a mirror and say it three yeah. times. I need like a VPN to even get on 4chan. Yeah, you do. An RFID blocker. Yeah, yeah. Just to get on the fucking 4chan. But like whenever someone can just like expound on a topic and just like they know all these permutations or like, yeah, someone like wrote something about that. I'm like, dude, they have to be on message boards. There's no way you get this uh, broad access to all this information unless you're tapping into message boards all the fucking time. I need to get back well, on what message, message boards, though. Like, I don't know, dude. Maybe I mean, about some kind of ever, politics. Like Facebook? Uh, no, 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 no. Like you want, a, you want, like, what do you want? You're looking for, like, a white supremacist, like, a little maybe heavy right wing. That maybe. Or I want heavy right and heavy left, QAnon. dude. You're looking for a QAnon message. Maybe some That's shit basically basically like that. What you're describing. Some shit like that where. You think of message boards, you would think Facebook, Reddit. Yes. And you're thinking, like, 4chan. Yes, I want some gnarly shit where I can learn a ton about a topic and people are smart as fuck and they're like dirty and like either super skinny or super fat and they have yeah, neck beards and fucking thick ass glasses and fucking. Clemmer. Yeah. You could ask Clemmer. Clemmer probably knows a couple message boards that you could get yeah. logged on. I wonder what the inside of his house looks like, dude. It's got to be wild. I don't, and I, I what don't is even... going on with Clemmer right now? He's beefing with Bosco? Yeah, he's beefing with Rico Bosco and he has the thickest, thickest hair, thickest beard hair, dude. Yeah, I was describing yeah. Clemmer. Yeah. You were, exactly. That's, that was the first thing I thought of. He pounds ciders every night. I could see Clemmer with just a couple ciders just d deep in a message board and they all know him. He's in Vermont, too, which means that he's starting a revolution. Yeah. Which means he's passing out weapons to his friends. Dude, you know Vermont is, like, one of the most expensive states to retire in? Interesting, Sass. You know how I saw that? <laughs> a message board. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, there you have those deep-ass facts that nobody else has. <laughs> what what message hey, board were you on? R slash fat fire or some shit like that. You're uh, I fucking. I saw that on. I saw that on retire. Twitter. I saw that either on Twitter or Reddit. But usually, I I I, I just made a thousand dollars at a stand up show. I'm trying to retire fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually I uh, I go on the popular page on Reddit, and then I say things like I I was reading about them, and then people are like, dude, we all saw that. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, that's the problem with Reddit, Everyone dude. That has Reddit. Because everybody has access to the yeah. same shit, dude. Yeah. Everybody is getting the same stats. Everybody is getting the same front page news. But it is better than like, I don't know, like Twitter. Dude, the hidden shit might be in the newspapers, dude. You crack open a newspaper, newspaper it's like, whoa, someone just broke this story down into the most condensed form and nobody else is accessing it. Yeah, but it's too long and boring. My dad was telling me yesterday that my aunt is writing magazine articles. Shit, really? This fucking what magazine, like a Catholic magazine or some shit. It's like, dude, nobody's reading that. <laughs> you no, want to guarantee that nobody's reading something? You know reading Put that? it in a magazine. Someone who's taking a shit at like an Airbnb and they just had magazines in the bathroom. A Catholic magazine? Yeah. No, it's definitely just nuns shitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just priests. Nuns fuck. even. Not shit. even priests, dude. Priests are too horny for shit like nuns that. Nuns like have to like say a pr like they'd say a hail mary after they take a shit. Probably. Yeah. Nuns are the only holy ones, dude. And that's why they're so mean, because they love God so much. They are mean. They're probably cracking shit, cracking Bibles while they take shits and fucking reading Leviticus. The nuns in my hometown lived in the biggest house in maybe all of Massachusetts. Yeah. On the water. Oh, dude, they're always at beach towns. Yeah. On the water in like, a, it was a compound. And they pass around a collection plate every week so someone who's like barely hanging on can yeah, give them can, 50 can bucks. Give them, yeah, yeah, dude, it's so fucked up. So they can live by the beach. The Catholic Church, doesn't the Catholic Church have, they have like, I th they have like almost or maybe more money than the U.S. government. Probably more. I mean, there's over a billion Catholics, right? You will be fact check on that. Yeah, but there's over a billion Catholics. Yeah. 
There's no way they have more than the U.S. government, though. I, I, the U.S. government's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that hush money. Look it up. Can you I'll, Google I'll look money? it up. I don't think you're right, but I like your energy. Yeah, the energy Google is how much? How much standing? The, Catholic, or the Catholic or the Catholic Church has not the U.S. government. Catholic Church probably has a trillion, though. They probably have a trillion, but we spend a trillion on fucking. Yeah, on giving it to just defense. Yeah, we spend a trillion on like fucking. We have uh, ten to fifteen bill. They they only have ten to fifteen. Shit. Get your money up. Maybe they need the 50 bucks. Yeah, seriously. These nothing. poor ass Spotlight was a box office bust. <laughs> that counts in BC. <laughs> they really only have $15 billion? The estimated worth is 30 it says. Of the whole Catholic Church? I thought it would at least be a trillion, right? Yeah, that is... That's really low. Losers, bro. <laughs> They're fucking broke as shit. How much Dave has. <laughs> yeah. Dave has more money than he, the Catholic Dave Church. has unlimited money? <laughs> I don't know about that though. Is that maybe separating the church and That's the Vatican as a lie. state? Because yeah, the Vatican as a state, don't they have the most valuable art in the world? Yes. Like that's probably I don't know. right there. I don't it's probably know. a trillion. Maybe the Vat can you look up how much the Vatican's worth? But they do sound broke though. They sound sus like as fuck, struggling. dude. Is that because people won't donate anymore? Maybe they because no one carries cash anymore. See how much Judaism is worth. Uh, Vatican City GDP is twenty one point two mil. What, dude? Well, that's the GDP. That's, GD that's the GDP, that's gross like, domestic product. I didn't even. So think that's like yearly and shit. Not even giving out cash in like that box. Like they're gonna have to like ask for Venmo requests yeah, and like a QR what code. What the gets fuck? Around. That's uh, now I feel bad. Yeah, US that's GDP poor is church. One nine trill. Yeah, that's a good bit more. We need to look out for them, dude. We need to make sure that they stay on their fucking on their feet over there. Yeah. So I was well, I was off a little bit by that. And they get all the it's only off by three hundred. They get all the best dollars. bros over there. <laughs> when the bros get in trouble here and get sent there, yeah, I know the horniest bros. Yeah, they do get sent. It's like they get an upgrade. Imagine getting in trouble and they're like, "I right, fuck, I guess we'll send you to Italy." Dave was like, "That was a ridiculous offer for a raise. We're gonna send you to Rome." Yeah, <laughs> where you'll live your life with un unlimited wealth. Imagine the <laughs> doodles the place of all time. Imagine like the doodles in the Bible over there of like all the horny priests who have been sent <laughs> over back to Rome for abusing the the altar servers in America. How horny those dudes are, and how it's just like. Seminaries is just like an all boys school, so everybody's just like farting all the time and fucking like yeah, yeah. writing like dirty limericks in the oh, Bibles yeah. and shit yeah. like that. Sneaky locker room vibe. It is big time locker room vibes, dude. No bus balls like the priests and troops. <laughs> yeah, I have never been. I never went to an all boys school. I kind of wish I did now. Yeah, it's way sicker. I got to experience that firsthand. You know how like uh, me and all my friends who were named Mike are just like fucking booing at all times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just rowdy boy energy. Like. Yeah, that's what it's like. Because yeah, I mean, boys are they're trouble. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Especially boys who don't have to worry about like uh, fucking. <laughs> yeah, when you're in eighth grade. That's like the worst person ever. Yeah, your your hormones are creeping into your body. Oh, you're, they're not creeping in; they're exploding through you. <laughs> yeah, Instantly. you're you always stink. <laughs> you smell bad as fuck, and you have no idea why. You're always picturing dry humping. Yeah, yeah, you're weird as fuck, sticking your dick places. Do you have? Do they have girl teachers? The nuns? They're nuns. They're hot ass nuns. Too. There's definitely a large amount of eighth grade boys in all boys school who are very confident that they they will fuck their nun teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just slamming their fucking dick in their desk that opens up, <laughs> horny as fuck, <laughs> sucking on Soko. <laughs> yeah. And while we're talking about Soko, whether you are at a festival, tailgate, or relaxing after midterm, Soko is ready. Is you're ready for anything whiskey. It's packed for flavor and makes a mean Soko sour. Soko Black has the right balance of sweetness wrapped in smoke flavor for those who like their whiskey bold. Try a Soko sour shot today. They're easy to make. One third Soko plus two thirds sour mix and you're done. Soko is so tasteful. Just the right mix of sass and class. That's my kind of whiskey. Times change and so does what we drink. More tasteful choice for a more tasteful choice. Choose Soko. Click the link in the description and see more cool stuff from Soko. Nice. Soko. Thank you, dude. I don't. Yeah. Thank you for that positive validation. Of course. But uh, I could have used something from 7-Eleven this morning when you were picking up fucking protein bars for yourself. Did I text and ask, hey, does anyone want anything? Yeah, you did. And uh, where did you, what did you reply? I wanted a I surprise. Your next text was 40 minutes later and you said, I'm going to be late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just, I was just hopping on my bike Actually, at that I time. didn't even offer just drinks and snacks. I said, does anyone want any treats? Does anyone need any Abriva? Yeah. I said, does anyone need any treats? I got everything. Yeah. Why are you eating protein bars? Because I didn't have time to get a good breakfast. Yeah. You don't eat the protein, dude. No. 
You're not exercising. Those wings. You got to, uh, yeah, you're probably at such a surplus of protein right now. So much protein. You probably had the densest shits from your fucking- Logs do not have protein. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do a pepperoni in them, though. Your shits were probably like a mix of like machine gun fire and mortar shells. Yeah, dude, we should do a whole neighborhood eats season just on pizza logs. We should do a buffalo neighborhood eats season where it's just different cuisines of buffalo. It'd be fun. <laughs> I swear to God, buffalo has the most homey cuisine. Like they probably, they, they make you feel so fucking good eating their shit. It, dude, it was, uh, it, pizza logs were the, probably the worst thing that I've ever put in my body that I have been like no regret. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes you eat something that's like super shitty and you're like, I shouldn't have eaten that, but it was good. This was like, I don't care how bad this is for me. I will eat 10 more of them. Just stuff my face. Was it cold at the game? Oh, it wasn't too bad. It was like- how about the people in Buffalo, dude? They're the they're some of the best people in the U.S. They're all so nice. It was very everyone there was very nice. Like it, and, and they all have a limp though. Did you notice that? They all have a limp. Yeah, I did not notice that. They do. The team, dude. The team was just more welcoming than ever. Yeah, the actual Bills. Great hanging out with the boys. Yeah. Yeah. N- drink, name drop a player outside of game. Da- outside of Gabe Davis. Can't, bro. I'm not name dropping. I don't outside get, of I don't Gabe Davis. My, I don't want to get my boys in trouble. You don't want to get. The, was it Dawson Knox or Boston Scott? Please, you're, you're, you're trying to get me into trouble, aren't you? Just tell me one off the top. Abe Davis. <laughs> then a couple others. Then you should have gone out to Montserrat, dude. No, but it was, uh, it was cool. Like we got some cool signed pictures. Of the players? From Gabe Davis. Wow. To Harry, officially a part of the Bills Mafia. <laughs> no way. Oh. Wow. So uh, you're not an Eagles fan anymore. <laughs> no, no, dude. Hey. You can't be in the Bird Gang and... <laughs> The Bills Mafia. You know I threw that picture out as soon as I got to the airport, right? No, you didn't. I broke that thing and I said... No, you probably hung it up on your wall. I said, go fucking birds. You probably cleaned all the trash off your fucking counter <laughs> and put it right next to your picture of Obama and Jesus. It was funny, dude. Uh, Shane got... G- Shane... Gabe Davis gave Shane his jersey after the game and it was like... <laughs> <laughs> Gabe Davis walks over to the sidelines and it's just all these like little kids and then just like Shane <laughs> standing there while Gabe Davis hands him the jersey. <laughs> we like crying. threw it to a kid and Shane like fucking laughing, pushes him out of the way. I couldn't stop laughing. And it was like Shane was so excited. Babe! Yeah, yeah. Shane was so excited. I mean, it was a legendary performance of his. It was. It was sick. He had a 99-yard touchdown, another touchdown that was like the sickest catch ever. Yeah. It was awesome. Dude, the field. Dude, I, I sat know. him in fantasy, dude, like an idiot. Yeah. I did bet him any time touchdown score, though. I bet Atta him any time. Had a boy. Dude, I did. Uh, that was a Barstool first Sports Bell game. I did. The field's a lot smaller in person than it is on, uh, than it is on TV. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. See, when they're punting, they're, they're kicking that. Like, I could, I think I could be an NFL punter. You're the type of dude who's having a catch and can't throw it that far, so tries to kick the ball and misses. I, yeah, that's only because I've done that on video and yeah. you posted it. Yeah, you're exactly that. Oh, no, I'm not. Person. We've thrown, we've played catch many times, and I'm actually good at throwing. I'm actually, I can throw both sides. I can throw right and left. <laughs> I'm ambidextrous with a football. You are ambidextrous. I did not say ambidextrous, bro. <laughs> You definitely did, dude. You definitely did say ambidextrous. Said ambidextrous. All right. You fucking asshole. Skip your show in Austin this weekend. I know. Let's go to Philly. I think I could use a weekend in Philly. <laughs> you could, dude. Let's get a box for the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is uh is Shane open enough for you? A little home and home. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Shane, you should come on. You should. I need a host. <laughs> Shane's gonna be pissed off at Mook the entire time. Yeah, <laughs> being direct support, <laughs> dude. I uh, no, I think he's going to Skankfest. I said that the other day that the act should have a Skankfest type of thing. I know they should. And Yakfest, yeah, Yakfest would be sweet. I don't know what would happen at it. No, nothing. What happens at Skankfest? They like sing songs. They have like seven hundred comedians come perform. <laughs> Having a whole festival just for us would be so funny. They have BravoCon. Yeah, how did BravoCon's you, this weekend? Go to BravoCon? No, it's this coming weekend. How are you going to hit BravoCon if you have the Phillies game? Well, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I just bought tickets for Sunday. You're very excited for this. No, I actually just bought tickets for my wife and her friend. I got to record the Pat Bev show on Sunday. What, dude? Yeah. Tell Pat Bev he can wait. 
Yeah. I go to Bravo. Austin from Southern Charm. <laughs> yeah. Craig from Southern Charm is waiting for me. So are you going back to LA or are you guys going virtual for this one? Virtual. Doing it from here in the office. Hopefully it's good. It'll be good, dude. Thanks, dude. I need you to pick me up at all times. I need words of affirmation or my love language. So I'm spin. I'm just telling the truth. Dude. Yeah, I just need you to boost me up at all times. Shit. You got to start watching Bravo, dude. That's the, that's where the good programming is. You got to leave these movies behind. I've been. I, I was watching The Office all weekend. That's a good show. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's good. Yeah. No, I I made it my personality to hate The Office. Yeah, I don't really understand that because I watched it. Like, I've seen it, obviously, a bunch of times, but, like, I, dude, re-watching it again. I was just watching it on the TV, and I was like, dude, I don't know how anyone could hate this show. Yeah, it's a... Uh, show, I think it's just the fans. Yeah, it makes sense. Some, I feel like some people can only talk in office, like, quotes. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely true. It went it from people so being funny. able to only talk in Adam Sandler quotes to people being able to yeah, only talk yeah, in yeah. Will Ferrell quotes to people only being able to talk in The Office quotes. That is true. The Office is hanging around. Yeah, it is. Because it's so good. Uh, so I think you should leave or whatever. Yeah. What's that, what's that called? Yeah, I think you should leave. I think you should office. leave, yeah. I think that's... Replacing it for some people. Some, yeah. For some people, they're only speaking. They that's do quotes, have a big like cult following. Yeah, and uh, I guess some people would always hit you with, uh, "It's like that Seinfeld episode," mm -hmm. where it's like I've seen some yeah. Seinfeld, but it's like I don't remember that episode. Some people have seen like every episode. Well, I guess that's for a lot of shows. Yeah, I guess it is one of the most popular shows <laughs> of all time. <laughs> yeah, probably the most famous comedy show of all time. Have you been watching this Jay Hud show? No, I didn't realize Jennifer Hudson has her own show and she's just eating rapper snacks. She's eating like the little baby wrapper snacks. It's kind of fire. What the fuck? Little baby has his own snack. Yeah. Did you see that video of little baby where he's checking out at like one of those like complex shoe things, and the guy's like, "Uh oh, I just charged you for two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, he's like, don't worry about it. It's good." He's like, "You just," he's like, "You'll just owe me two twenty two. And I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and then the kid's like, "Yeah, it went through." <laughs> he was like, "Dude, how do you fuck up that bad?" And how is his... And how is Lil Baby not care? Yeah. And how is it... I bet it's just like linked to his checking account. He literally goes, he goes, we'll just, he goes, we'll just get you in store credit. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be buying that many shoes. $20,000 in store credit. Do you think any of those people like resell? Like, uh, do they, do, do they resell their clothes? Uh, like, I know that, uh... Who's that one rapper that went in and he was like, he like, he like didn't, t he like went to buy it and he was like... He was like 10K for those shoes. And he was like, hell no. Which is respectable. It was very funny. I forget who did that, but it was a very funny video. You got to resell the shit. But that's why you also, you have to have the factory settings on your, on your uh, jewelry. So you don't have it customized. Because when it's factory, you could just sell it right back. Oh, yeah. It's a little sense. fucking pearl of wisdom for couldn't you. Couldn't you technically, if you had like a big ass chain, couldn't you technically break it down? You could break it down, but I think that'll hurt the value though. Yeah, but then you just got like straight diamonds. Dude, we need to have a fucking, we need to have a chain friend who has like a big ass chain. I don't I know. know if it's Bev, dude. Bev's definitely got a big ass chain. Dude, think, let's Kevin Bacon this thing. I sit next to you. You sit next to me. I sit next to Pat Beverly. Beverly sits next to LeBron. His his locker's next to LeBron, Holy dude. shit. They got Beverly next to LeBron? The communicative property of math, that means that you're sitting next to LeBron. That's crazy. Wait, so if, if like... You don't have to say, you don't have to give anything away, but you guys have any like big guests lined up? Yeah. And if you guys get, let's just say, uh, LeBron James. No, I can't even joke about that. Cause I joked about that at the upfront. Big Cat put me in a terrible spot. He was like, so can you guarantee you're going to have LeBron on? And I was like, yep, guarantee it. And then right away I was like, I'm just kidding. Like, uh, he, you know, I was obviously joking. And then there's like all these reporters in the audience. And one of the reporters like wrote this long ass oh, really? thing about the upfronts. And he was like, and Adam Farone guaranteed <laughs> that LeBron would be on. And then Pat Bev's team was like, did you, wh why are you guaranteeing this? Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you say, doing? So you don't have to guarantee, but say you got like a big guest like LeBron. Would you still record at the office or would you go out to LA for that? If it was a uh, big was guest, maybe. Uh, for a lot of the big guests, though, I mean, uh, we plan to have a lot of the NBA uh, stars on. So uh, for a lot of them, I'm not going to be able to go out there. Yeah, but for yeah. some of them, I will go out there. But I'm I'm not gonna go. My plan isn't to go out there for every episode yeah, or anything yeah, like obviously. that. But uh, for a big guest, I, I would try to be in person. Nice, nice. Well, dude, yeah. If you ever want me on, just uh... <laughs> we can talk about factory settings on diamonds yeah, and yeah. Uh, what. Like, I think me and Pat would actually get along pretty well. <laughs> you should bring him to one of your shows. When do you play LA? Have you ever played LA? Yeah. 
I don't think they'd like you out there. I don't think they would like me either. Not at all. They would hate me. You got to fucking like go up on stage if you're in LA and like show your abs. Be like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. You got to be a hot comedian. Dude, Devin Costa has this uh, video where it's like cool comics. Have you ever seen this? I put you onto this, dude. You showed me that video? Yes. I know you showed me Devin Costa's videos, but I'm... Yeah, I'm, yeah, definitely the that cool one. comic ones. That one is so... Fun. That's like one of my favorite videos that have ever I been on the internet. all the time. Same. And he, like, yeah. nails it. Oh, good, dude. <laughs> White <laughs> people are crazy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and he's like, so he, funny. He just keeps going. He goes, yo, who does that? And <laughs> smacks yeah. the mic on it. Smacking the mic. It's, who does that? He's incredible, dude. He and he nailed it, and he's done it. He did it for woke comics too, and he yeah. nailed it, dude. That guy's got a big ass brain. Yeah, he got to get him on here. Um, oh wait, I'm trying to think of what the oh, like something about drunk girls. <laughs> I don't know that dude. It, it's, it's it's pretty much just making fun of Chris D'Elia, right? I thought it was more like Andrew Schultz and Aziz, but uh, I could see that and Chris D'Elia as well. Yeah, all the but it's crazy that he is making fun of all of them simultaneously. <laughs> Dude, the who does that one is my was my favorite. <laughs> who does that? <laughs> the way they're cut up too. I dude. know it's so good. Yeah, he's a beast. He did a bunch of stuff with uh, Tim Dillon. Yeah, he used to be on the show a lot. I think as, as a guest. I would like him to come on Son of a Boy, Dad. I would too. He lives in L.A. though. He said he'd come on next time he was in New York. Yeah, he's funny. Check him out. Yes, and also check out Lil Sass in Austin, and also listen to the Pat Bev podcast. podcast with Ron, with Ron and Ron. After you listen to this, after you listen to this, um, Do boy dad, Pat Bev, boy dad, Pat Bev, boy dad, boy dad. Yeah, perfect. And and Tim Dillon. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. And Sass on Shane Gillis. Zero rev Matt, share, bro. I'm <laughs> just Matt <kidding>. Shane. <laughs> yeah. You get paid the same no matter what, so you're yeah, good to go. I'm already locked in, so. You don't need the listeners to go up. All right. All right, good to go. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.